Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Go The Big Play Part 3. I'm Dang Bandit, I'm joined today by... Admiral for Part 3. Ed, aren't you excited? This is the big, big, bigger play. The last one was big, and in case you don't remember... Okay, we are trying to max out our XP in 30 minutes. And as you just saw, my starting XP oh, is dude, 700... Oh, we're still playing Pokemon Go? That's what this is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ed, just... I'm gonna pop a lucky egg, okay? Just bear with me here, okay? Okay. Um, okay, I, you got me all off, off track. I'm, I'm sorry, let me just... I'm gonna pop this lucky egg, then we're gonna get going, okay? Okay, uh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm really under the pressure right now. Okay, first things first, I gotta go to my friends and I'm gonna open up. I got two friends waiting here and I'm gonna claim my 100,000 XP uh, bonus for becoming best friends with somebody. Now, uh, with the lucky egg, it's gonna duplicate and that was uh, Brad, Brad Puffell. Thank you so much for holding on. I'm sorry it took me so so much time to kill a breath. Same thing, I, I apologize, but I, I'm hoarding gifts. Wait, wait, wait. So people gave you gifts and you just didn't claim them. Yeah. So that you could make this video xp times two should get me up to six hundred thousand xp okay there we go get that okay i've got 29 wait okay, 200 xp okay we're talking 600 i'm already at six hundred thousand xp Six hundred thousand xp now i gotta get evolving quick because i've got to evolve uh over 69 pokemon and let me just search the big play T tbp is, is what i call them and I'm already starting to involve my, my first Pokemon, which is Curly. So, do you have any other questions to add before we just jump right in? Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of glancing over a lot of the details. I'm very excited. Wow. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of questions. Uh, first and foremost is, uh, why? why? Why why are we doing this? Well, okay. So, uh, you got to get XP, and Lucky Eggs double the amount of XP. So, what you want to do is you want to maximize your, your farming of XP in 30 minutes. Um, you only have so many uh, lucky eggs, and my starting XP, as you saw in the very beginning, was 704,751. So at the end of this, we're going to see how much XP I gain in 30 minutes, and then I can, you know, give you that number, and then we can, you know... Is this, is this, is this what you do for fun now? Yeah, well, I mean, it's not. It's, it is, it is, it's like fun to collect them, and um, evolve them, and, and just to, just to see how many you can... How much? How okay. Long? Now, no. So, with the gift thing, though, like I am a little bit worried about that. I'm worried you're gonna lose all your your friends, right? Because don't they? Don't you need to accept their gifts for them to get like the XP? And you, yeah. you were just hanging on to it forever, and they were just like, "Bro, I, I thought you were my friend." So they just got one hundred thousand XP because they weren't able to get any warning that I was going to pop that lucky egg then. Because if they had known that I was just going to do it just now, they probably also would have done it. So we could have, I could have maximized their XP instead of just me. But you didn't want to do that. You wanted just to maximize doing your own. Myself for for me, just for me. I see. So, so I'm gonna be honest. I am surprised that this game still exists. More more surprised than I was the last time we did this. Um, wh why? I just thought it kind of passed. <laughs> Well, well, I don't think there's probably as many people playing it as when it, you know, first came out. But you know, that's that's normal of any game. I mean, there's definitely a player drop off and uh, oh, I gotta evolve this uh, Staravia into Staraptor. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what these Pokemon are. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh yeah, no, these are all Gen Gen Four. Ah, you know, Gen Four. Of course. Gen. Of course. I think it was. Uh, uh, crystal, uh, pearl, uh, crystal and pearl. How, how, you, how you been doing, man? Like, like I know the, you know, the pandemic's been hard for everyone, and, and I know it's it's been hard for you too. But yeah, no, good, good, good. Like this, this, like oh yeah, like I, I'm a little bit worried. Oh, that's uh, that's Luxray. He's like a, <laughs> like a, a panther. Good, good, yeah. But kind of like a monkey. He's got like monkey ears too. No, but it, no, it's been good. It's been good. I've been getting a lot of, a lot of Pokemon. I got a lot of Sinnoh stones. I got to use. This is gonna, this is Roselia. It's gonna evolve into Roserade and um, uh, uh, pure Grass type. Um, I don't think any Poison type. I don't have the Shiny yet, but I, I am trying to get more into Shiny hunting, which, as you know, is very difficult. And like the colors are slightly different on the Rose, uh, on the Shiny ones. Uh huh. So they look a little bit different, and that's uh, what the Shiny yeah, means. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, that, that's cool, man. And if I get them... Yeah, that's, that's real cool. And if I get them and it, then I get them, then they look a little bit different. Yeah, because then you have the shiny ones. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is Kranitz. Well, the important thing is that you've made friends along the way and you've exploited them. Well, know, they're not... For your own ends. They're not really my... They're not... I don't really know are, them. Are they... I mean, are these like... Probably kids. Like kids? Like eight-year-olds like that you like, encounter like Probably. at the park or something? No, I'm not allowed to talk to them. Not after... This is going to be a, a Bastiodon. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? It's like a Triceratops. <laughs> what is his mouth? What is his face? Wait, is he a city building? <laughs> but with teeth yeah. on the bottom? He's a Bastiodon, so he's like a bastion. Is his face? He's like a, a bastion. An apartment building. Like a, ba you know what I mean? Like a bastia. So are well, you, then, are you yeah. hoping to get some kind of YouTube internet acclaim, perhaps a call from the Guinness Book of World Records for mm. the most experience in a 30 minute period? Is this, is this the end game here? I think so. I'm hoping. Look, there's always, there's always room to improve, but I think if I can beat my, the big play part two and get 70, maybe 73 Pokemon in 30 minutes and get over 1 million XP. I think we're talking Guinness call. I think Jonathan Frakes is going to call me and say, fact or fiction? That's Motham. It's like a moth guy, you know? They yeah. couldn't really come up with a good name, so it's like, ah, oh, yeah, Motham. No, you just, just take the word moth and just kind of throw some letters on the, on the end of it. And... Yeah, this is... A, oh, that one's bees. I, I recognize this one. Yeah, but when we oh, played, yeah, Combi. you right. couldn't evolve him because he was a Yeah, a male. we got screwed. He was terrible. And this is a female. He's got the little V. And, and that's that's a Vespa Quen, you know? Oh. Uh, yeah. He's like a like a B. Man, I don't know. How many, how many have I evolved for so far? Have you? So so you must be staying in good shape then with all this like exercise you must be getting going out to these spots to get, <laughs> you know, all the, the Pokemon right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that, that goes without saying. But I've actually um, come up. I've actually discovered a... A, a different method for, um, you know, getting... Because the game is all based around kilometers walk. So I actually came up with a, a different way of uh, gaining kilometers in the game. <laughs> okay. By, like by running or something? So you like, get a good workout. And uh, it's for what? For like, catching eggs or something? You need to take steps. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, yeah, you want to well, hatch eggs and, and, and get candies so you can evolve the guys. And, of course. And, of course. Uh, you have to have candies. Yeah. Uh, that's a gas. Well, that's nice. That's good. Yeah, it's a you know it's not as ex as ex extensive as like walking or because yeah, look I, I got I got weak knees and I don't really want like a hip replacement anytime soon so I'm I'm really trying to to try to stay sedentary more because you know oh it, it, it can be dangerous to go outside especially if you're not you know you're not careful so I, I try to keep my distance and, and just kind of stay inside the house and uh, get kilometers that way. So you're just like running around the house or something like. That's got to be annoying for everyone else. No, I actually, I, I, I found this method on, on, on uh, online. And, and because um, there's this thing called Adventure Sync, which tracks your steps even while you're, while you're not moving, it's actually just like a, the sending, sensing the, the phone moving in your pocket. So as you're, as you're walking around it, it tracks how many times like, your phone bumps in your pocket. So kind of like a, it's not really a, like an exploit, but it is like a workaround. You can just kind of... It's so like a Stairmaster. You can just shake your phone. Shake your phone in your uh, hand, kind of like this. Can you? Well, you can't see that, but I'm, I have like my fist in front of me, and I'm just kind of like you know shaking my phone. Oh. Yeah. I see. So, so like, you know, sometimes I don't know if I'm I'm, so, I'm allowed to say this, but then the the exercise you get is sort of equivalent to the exercise you get when you're like masturbation. So it's like a it's like a bicep thing. It's like a sh it's like you're. Uh, pumping iron like a really small weight right. um if you don't want really there's another small. there's another method too if you have like a sock you can put your phone in a sock and just kind of like bounce it like in the sock you just dangle it and just yeah just kind of bounce it there and, and it, that's more efficient because then you don't even have to move your arm that much exactly exactly because i don't want to you know burn out you know on pokemon go but you know the other thing is I, sometimes i'll just like you know take my sock off put my phone in it and just kind of like um cross my legs and just kind of bounce the phone with like my my ankle or when I'm like when i'm watching tv and eating like popcorn 
watching like movies or like an entire binging an entire TV show from start to finish. I'll just like have my phone in pocket. And I'll just be hatching like eggs, you know, pretty regularly. It's it's really efficient. Yeah, it's kind of amazing right now. I mean, you, you you're just like on autopilot. You're just blasting uh, through these evolutions. Hang on a second. Like, hang on a second. Ad. Hang on. I'm getting a phone call. Oh, jeez. Uh, so the cops are trying to call me. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I just got a phone. I'm getting a phone call from the cops. I I just is it your Pokemon friends? If they reported you? No, I I you know we had a crime committed here. Our cars were broken into, and the cops are contacting me to just probably let me know that they found the stuff that was stolen. No big deal. I'll yeah. This is the big. This is the big. And so, play. And so you're not answering the call from the police right now. So that you I can, got 20 minutes left. So you can continue with this. The, is the big play? The big play number three. You can't interrupt the. I put my phone on do not disturb. Of all the times to be calling me. Okay. All right. All right. This is Riolu. We're going to evolve him. I mean, I think you should call the police station and complain for, for being so inconsiderate. Well, now they're going to be on. I'm going to have to blur out that that phone number now to get this to go online. Yep. That's Lucario. He's like a, a fighting guy. Do you know any of these Pokemons? Nope. There's a, there's a lot of... Hey, that's a hippo. Can, can I ask you another question? Sure. Why do you ask me to be on these things? Well, you know, we did, um... We did, uh, Pokemon. Like, are you expecting me to be, like... You know, excited about this or something? Cause, cause really, I'm, I've just, I've just grown concerned, increasingly concerned over the, over the course of this. Oh, you're being so ridiculous right now. So, this, how was this not exciting? Look, how many Pokemon I'm of? Aren't you curious? How much, how much XP will I get at the end of this? I might even level up. Yeah, Trapia. There you go. Um. A scorpion guy. How, how much? How much XP do you expect to get? Ballpark. I'm over a million. Over a million? Is over that a lot? A, I have... a million. It's so much. I don't even remember. What did we get the last great good play? Do you remember? Do you remember what we got the last great play? No, <laughs> certainly not. No, I don't. If I Google it, will I find it like the best? <laughs> like XP. It's a good idea. Do a Google search. Well, we'll like. I probably can't spell Colin. Come on. You're probably wondering what the naming convention is. Well, first off, it's T B P, the big play. Then the number I want to evolve from is their Pokedex number. And then, you know, the first three or four letters of the actual Pokemon's name. That's Luminion. Yeah. It's, uh, sure is. That's a fish. Well, it's registered to my Pokedex now, so. It's a fish. I use my Sinnoh stone because now I'm gonna get that one. Looks sneaky. He looks like he's plotting. Well, that's a shiny. Oh, that's a shiny Sneasel, and I'm oh, gonna revive him Hold into on, a no. shiny Weevil. I actually know Sneasel from Gen Two. And you tell me they they made the shiny like this hot pink thing. Yeah, they made him evolve. That's kind of ridiculous. Because Gen Four was just the evolution Gen, where they're just like, "Eh, hey, let's go back into the old decks and see what we haven't evolved yet." I'll we'll check it out. How about a tongue? Sneasel should have been should have evolved. I got a licky tongue evolution. What are we gonna call him? How about licky licky? Yo, this is. NSFW. Is this exciting? Look at this thing's tongue. It's just so, uh... It got... Licky, licky, licky. It's bigger. I feel like the Pokemon... It's horrible. The Game it's a horrible thing. guys. I think that they are improving every day. I think... Tangela... Wait, every day they're just coming up with new... Wait, what does Tangela evolve into? Tangler. Wait, but I thought, didn't we invent that, like, <laughs> before it happened, like, when yeah. we were, like, 12 yeah. or something? They stole it. See, look. Oh, but, dude, your design was way cooler than this. Mine had, like, spikes. This thing is just, like, a big yeah, carpet. Yeah, this one's, it's a big dopey boy. It's terrible. It's a shag carpet. <laughs> and, like, that, to me, proves it. Like, seeing Tang growth and seeing all of these old Pokemon with new evolutions just tells me that Game Freak is on top of their game. No pun intended. But, like, the new Pokemon that are coming out, like, we had Gen 1, like, Psyduck? Come on. Not good enough. Toga Kite or Toga Kiss? It's a kite, man. It's a kite. It's a Toga P evolves into Toga Kiss. Like, That's going to be really disappointing for Toga P and everyone involved in the, in the show. 
and they invented a new type. They said, let's just invent a new type called Fairy that's like better than all the other types. And everybody who's just so stuck on Gen 1, they're going to be like, oh, I don't know what Fairy is. It's like a new type. But like, I, I invite the improvement, the excitement of evolving Gligar into Gliscor because it's just so much better. I don't know if this is really exciting. It is kind of hypnotic though. Like I could see myself just like putting this on and falling asleep to it. Well, don't do that because that means like you're like bored. This isn't. No, it's just soothing in a strange way. This is this is exciting. Oh. What does this one become? A bigger pig? A bee? Well, no, it's a woolly mammoth. His name is Mammal Swine. He's like a pig. Well, it has swine in it, right? So mammal, mammal swine. It's a, it's a woolly pig myth. Hmm. But yeah, I mean that's a. I I have the, I have a shiny of him too, but. And a Porygon, Porygon, two gets an evolution. Porygon Z. You thought it was gonna be Porygon three. Now Game Freak said Porygon. Z. Crank it all the way up to Z. Porygon Z. Right from the get-go. Fourth dimension. This one can transverse time and space. <laughs> why was it flailing? It was like suffering there. It's like, why have you created me? Well, that... No, no, that just means that it's better. Oh. That just means that it's like a... a like a... Porygon Z... It... Z is better than two. How many views do you expect this video to get? I mean, if it's anything like the last one, 61? <laughs> yeah, the other ones didn't get... But this one's an even bigger play, so arguably it should be more. Maybe I, maybe I just didn't put the right tags in? I'll have to look. It was probably the tags. It was probably the tags. I did put world record in, in the other ones. And it... <sighs> It didn't. It still didn't get that many views. But maybe if I put it like in this one, I'll put like world record, yes, or world record Z. Was it flagged as like misleading and misinformative? I got demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. This one's a triangle. Does it grow up to be a bigger triangle? No. It it, it grows up to be a horrifying. It's a special Dorito. Iced ghost that I can't tell where it's head begins and ends. See, okay, I, I have problems with some of these evolutions. Like, that evolution, that one bothers me. It looks awful. That's, it, well, it's not just that it looks awful. I, I don't know that it looks awful. But it looks no. completely different from the, the base one. Yeah. Oh, look, remember Snivy? He was like, when we played Generation 5 White, he was like the he was like Charon's guy, and he was like, yeah, I'm very stuck up. See, that, that is a reasonable evolution right there. Servine. Because it's like a serpent and a vine. Do you get it? I do. I do. Oh. And then he evolves into a uh, superior, I mm. think. Because he's like a serpent, but he's like superior than the last one. <laughs> kind of like the Big Play 3. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. The big, we're going to change this one to the Big Play Z. <laughs> That's a great call, dude. Because B's... Z's yeah, yeah, yeah. Z is better. Oh, and that's eager. It's so good because there, nothing. There's nothing past Z. Tepig is like the word tepid, like referring to warm, but he's a pig, so he changed it to a, a G at the end, it, and he evolves into pignite, which is like the word ignite but with a P, so it says pig instead. He looks like a wrestler. He, well, yes, we're into the gen where occupations exist for the starters. Does he have a mace for a tail? Does he bludgeon his opponents with his mace tail? Usually luchadors... Or is it fluffy? I couldn't tell. Luchadors are typically armed with maces. Yo. Okay, that, that dude looks pretty cool. But hold on, with Tepig... It's like, yeah. Is that an ins like an insulting name? Why? To call a fire Pokemon, like, Tepid. Well... Tepid is not, like, hot. He's just like a little baby boy. He's just like a little baby pig. So it's insulting. Well, for a little baby pig, baby boy. Tepid, it's not even, like, warm. He hasn't even gotten hot yet. Remember this guy with the scal chops? Oh, scal chops. Yeah, he... That's a word that exists in my brain, and I have no, like, entry for it. 
and I thought it, we thought it was a typo, but it actually is Scal Chops. <laughs> and his his occupation becomes Samurai because uh, typically Samurais that's their full time job. Wait, can you explain this occupation thing? Wait, what do you mean? So the the so I think starting in Gen five, all of the starters' final evolutions gain a an occupation. So Samurai. Uh, Luchador Warrior and Giant Snake, maybe Anaconda, would be the Gen 5 starters and Occupation. Do you know what I'm talking about? You can get paid to be a Luchador Warrior. So in Gen 4 or 5 or whatever you said, like, was there, is there like a, what's the lore here? Is there like a great war and like, in order to ramp up production that we put the Pokemon to work too and they be, they start yes taking our jobs for God's sake? Yes. I think my favorite one is in Gen uh, eight. I think the water type, uh, the little tadpole guy, his end evolution ends up becoming a petfish, private investigator. And I and I think their name is like a uh, private investigator lizard, <laughs> something like that. Um, it's like it's like private eye or something. I can't look it up. Can you just look it up for me? No. Just type in Gen no. 8 Water End no. Evolution. It'll be great. No. I, I just can't. I can't. I can't understand. I can't wrap my head around the, the like societal ramifications of having Pokemon have jobs. Don't think too much about it. They just is this? Oh, dude, is this? Be, remember when we were playing? What was it? Black and white. Yes. There was this saucy B. Has there been Pokemon liberation and they're allowed to work jobs now? No. We don't just force them to fight all the time. No. No, we do force them to fight all the time. We just also force them to do other jobs on the side. Water starter. Okay, I'm looking this up right now. Okay, so it is a... Ooh, this thing looks awful. Uh, Gro okay, Grookey evolves into... Uh, Rilla Rillaboom? Rillaboom. And he's like a... Rillaboom. Let me guess, let me guess. It's a, uh, a boom box crossed with a... No. Gorilla. No. See, that's a good Pokemon, though. They should make that. That would be sick. We need a Boombox. Is there not a Boombox Pokemon? Rilla. Not yet, no. Game Freak. Come on. I can't I can't find the name of this thing. It's hideous, though. Uh, anyways, I think one of them becomes a Robin Hood. There's a Robin Hood owl. His occupation becomes Robin Hood. Oh. He's an owl, though. It's kind of cool. Mm. I love that you you're like looking shit up, but you in, in your was your left or your right hand? You're just mashing through these. Oh, I'm just, like, yeah, I got this. No problem. You're at your command center. That's a shiny tranquil, by the way. No, oh. I got a shiny one. Oh, you remember Paul Simon? Da, da, of course, da, I remember da, Paul Simon. Da, 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 da. Unpheasant. This one's got a hilarious little mask on. Do you like these Pokemon? They're really good. Some of them are all right, honestly. What about? Th I like the big luchador boy. Do you remember? This one's kind of cool. Do you remember Butch? We had a zebra, a zeb striker called Butch, and he was really good. I remember good. Butch. If people haven't watched our Pokemon playthroughs, like, we have the best names. It's just, it's just not even a contest. Remember Crunch Love? Of course, I remember Crunch Love. He was a <laughs> monkey, right? No, he was an ice cream cone. Really? I remember the ice cream cone. Are you sure? What was what was the name of this guy? I don't remember what we called him. He was like a little rock boy. Remember what we named him? Ah, uh, man, vaguely. Was it like Graypole or something? <laughs> Graypole. <laughs> uh, no, I, probably everyone thinks they have the best names, but they're all wrong because ours were the best. It's not even close. Boldore. It's not even close. Yeah. No, we 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 did it. Okay, so he evolves into Gigalith. You probably called him Nestle or something. Oh, that's right. Wasn't it just Nestle? Yeah. Because you have this thing for using, like, random brand names. Colgate. Was it Nestle? It might have been Nestle. No, it wasn't Nestle. Okay, was it Colgate. Nestle? That's a terrible name. Someone was Nestle. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, now I want to look it up. No, it we was should, like... We should just stream uh, us watching the old Pokemon series. Was it Nesquik? Nesquik. I don't know. This no. Pokemon's heinous. I hate it. Oh, this is Woobat. Uh, yeah, I know. I hate it. Do you remember in Age of Empires when they used to say Woolaloo? Of course I do. I think somebody just said, how about that as a Pokemon? No, I think it is Woo supposed to be like wool? Because it's kind of fluffy? 
No, I think it's got a little heart for no, so it's supposed to like woo you into a false sense of... That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. This is Game Freak. Nothing they do is stupid. Do the voice on that guy. <laughs> what, what? Uh, whoa! Play player! Yeah, exactly. It's the only voice that could possibly oh. fit that Pokemon. It's me, Drillbur! <laughs> that, that was the voice. That was yeah. the voice. <laughs> and, and look, there's a spicy Adina! I remember the Adinos now. It's a spicy Adina! We used to like... It's really taking me back. We, we used to destroy them in the grass patches for a um, big XP. Kind of like the big play. Yeah. We're coming up on a solid five minutes remaining. Can you like battle people now? Like, do you fight people? And win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you do is you get into battles and you tap the screen really, really hard and fast. You mash it. You mash the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then every once in a while you can power up a big move and then you can hit that and then it'll do it. Have you invested in other kinds of de devices like your sock that allow you to mash the screen faster in battle? Uh, no, no, no. I just, I just tap the screen really fast. That Pokemon looks like it's suffering and wants to die. Yeah. That's Seismitoad. He's a seismic toad. See? They're really getting yeah. getting go with the yeah, names. Yeah, man, that's good. That's good stuff. That's great stuff right there. And and this guy's this guy is just like a whirlipede. He's like a a, a like a whirly like a whirl like a whirl. Like a centipede kind of. Yeah, that whirls. And he's like a big like a little ball. Evolves again. Oh my god into a Velocipede, like the old bicycle with the big wheel in the front. No, I'm just kidding. Scolipede, like he has scoliosis, but he's a centipede. Scolipede. <laughs> Surely it's not that. It's a good Pokemon. What's what's the Scola there? What does that mean? Scolio? Maybe it scolds you. It's a very scolding kind of Pokemon. I doubt. Uh, and this is Cottony. He's just like a little plume of cotton. I, I, I just want to name, look at all these objects. I got a bottle here. Let's call it Bottly. Yeah. Bottle Burr. Bottle Burr. Oh, they have that one. Beer Bee. Yeah. Like I think in Gen 7 they have a- Water Rig. A sand, a sand castle. It's just called Sandy Gast. <laughs> call this one Planty. Uh, Plantor. No, Petalil. Because Petalil. he's a little petal. Petalil. That's so hard to say. Petal. Petal. What is this guy's name again? I forget. Lilligant. Like, um... Like Elegant, a... but a lily. <gasps> you got it! I did it! Oh, I'm getting it now. Oh, I love this game. Oh, that's Scraggy. That's Knuckle Rump. <laughs> Knuckle Rump. Remember Knuckle Rump? He was yeah, like our ace in the hole. Really? He wasn't very good, I thought. Mm -mm. He actually brought us home. He was the only one who actually survived the Elite Four. Really? Yeah. And he evolves insane, into... Yeah. Knuckle rump. Scrafty. Because he's like he's a crafty, you know, his pants are falling down, he's trying to pull those trousers up. There's nothing crafty about that, it's just impractical. He should just literally get uh, overalls. Yeah, and, and this is Archaeops, and he evolves into Archaeopsis. <laughs> I don't remember. Archaeoptrix? Arceus. Tricks are fun. Tricks are for kids. Uh, oh, Archaeops. Oh yeah, the first one was Arkin. This one looks like it's like literally lost its mind. <laughs> oh, this is M Meltan. You remember him, right? Oh yeah, you were very upset about this Pokemon. Was I? You were, because it was like a, it was introduced as some kind of special thing. Yeah. And you were like, it sucks. Yeah. Well, I had to get 400 can like rare candies to get to Mel Metal. Metal. But now I have him because I did so much work and I spent so Mel much time. Metal. Like. Oh, and this is Minchino, and he evolves into I remember Minchino. Chinchino. And do you know do you know how like each Pokedex has like an entry? Well his Chinchino's Pokedex entry is the scarf Pokemon. Because <laughs> because he's got like a little scarf around his neck. The scarf Pokemon? Yeah. Come on, man. Game freak. Oh my god. They get it every time. Oh, this is a little wrench head guy. Remember the guy with the little wrench on his head? <laughs> yeah, I do. His name is Carablast. That seems a little bit much for a wrench head. It probably should be wrench door. Like, uh. Wrench, wrenchy. Wrench or. And he evolves into a jousting knight 
like an ex-cavalier. Scavalier? Wait, what? Why? That's no, that's a totally different theme. Why is it a a jousty knight now? That's also oh, and this guy's weird. name is Shelmet because he's a bug that lives in a shell that kind of looks like a knight's helmet. But wait, that's just a thing from Mario, isn't it? Anyways, we're we're getting down to it here. I mean, do oh, you feel shoot. like you're, you're setting right. the record here? Oh, Excel Gore. Sorry, I don't know. say that. I'm going as fast as I can. You're right. I have twenty. I mean, something seconds left. You're mashing. Okay. Jol Joltik. He he's going to remind me the last one. Is it? Kay. You can't crank out one more? <sighs> we'll see. I don't want to I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to waste an evolution. I don't want to waste it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you can. These evolution animations take forever. It, it, Galvantula. Galvanized Tarantula. Is there a way to turn off the an animations? Did you just screw yourself over cuz you didn't turn off the animations? No, you can't. You have to you have to quit out of the game and relaunch the game. Okay, 0 seconds. Okay. Bottom left hand corner add look at the bottom. What look the for the number. It's going to be in pink. It's going to be right by my guy's face. 414,000! All right, let's, let's look, 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 look. Bro, why are there so many seals? Don't worry about it right now, okay? Look at that. 1,718,71... One okay, so I had I had 704, and now I'm at 1,718,000. Seven one eight. I got six hundred k from the from the two friends. Four hundred and fourteen thousand XP. That equals one million fourteen thousand XP in thirty minutes. Sixty nine Pokemon in thirty minutes. I have I have I have one question, and for what? If you have any other ideas for ways for Dang Bandit to gain more XP in thirty minutes, let us know in the comments down below. And look forward to the big play part four. Ad, are you coming back? Are you excited for the next one? Yes. Yeah, yes. Thanks, guys, for joining. Ad, thank you again for joining. Yep, my pleasure. 